Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Indie. In this tutorial we will talk about the workflow to bring your ZBrush models into Maverick. Let's take a look at the first model. This elephant character was created by our friend Hosa Manuhel Linares, a CG modeler and digital sculptor artist. Feel free to visit his website, the link is provided in the description below. The original concept art is courtesy of Dan Seddon. You can see here the typical presentation rendering look that modeling artists are after. Here it is in ZBrush. Simply export the model as an OBJ file. Select an output folder and click Save. In our case, we are just overriding an existing model, as we went through this process already. Once exported, open Maverick and click on the ZBrush Import button from the main toolbar. Select your model to import. As with all import formats in Maverick, a dialog will show up inviting you to select a lighting ambience. Simply pick one that you like and click Next. Quickly make sure the scale looks fine, make corrections if needed, and click Next. This step allows you to configure how the materials are handled, but this model has none yet so click Proceed. And here is the model, perfectly imported and lit by our selected ambience. A shadow catcher floor has been automatically added to perfectly integrate the model in the environment. You can drag and drop more ambiences to change the lighting. Ambiences with photographic backgrounds are suited to integrate your model in a real environment, for hyper-realistic shots. You can rotate the environment by holding the control and shift keys, and using the right mouse button. Let's apply some materials to the model. For example some rough plastics from the library. Maverick material system is compatible with PBR, and the standard material follows widely accepted industry standards. We invite you to check our dedicated videos about working with Substance Painter and Substance Designer, and with any generic PBR system. More in-depth tutorials are coming, to master the standard material to its fullest. I like this orange one, let's keep it. You can then create a studio lighting setup, to create a presentation shot of your model. Maverick comes with different studio presets for white and black backdrops, with different lighting for each of them. These studio setups are particularly suited to create focus on your model, without distracting the viewer with busy backgrounds. Using the same keyboard shortcut combo you can rotate the lighting to fit your needs. This ambience comes with a spotlight, we will delete it and create our own lights. Select the spotlight from the lights panel, and click on the cross icon button to delete it. We can now start our lighting from scratch. Add a light at the top of the scene, by clicking the bulb icon and selecting the top option. And now add one to the left, using the same procedure. Remember that lights positions are always relative to the current camera orientation. And finally place our key light using the normal light tool. Remember from another tutorial, with the normal light tool you can click anywhere on your model to easily position the light where you need. While the normal light tool is still enabled, the selected light can be repositioned at will, simply by clicking somewhere on your model, creating a highlight exactly where you want it. Remember to exit the normal light tool when you're done, by pressing the V key or enabling the selection tool for example. Now that our lighting setup is complete, we can use the light mixer module to edit it in real time. Engage the light mixer. A powerful workflow is to solo lights one after another and adjust them independently, without other light sources getting in the way. All in real time without restarting the render. We invite you to check our dedicated light mixer video, which covers everything there is to know about this module and how powerful it is. When your lighting edits are done, you can bake the changes to the actual scene lights using the Consolidate button. This will save the light mixer parameters as actual light settings. From there we can render at any resolution we want. Go to the Render panel and select the Custom Resolution preset. For this video we will use 1200 by 900. Use the pan tool from the render window toolbar to pan or zoom, when the render exceeds the available screen space. Double clicking on the render with the pan tool will fit the render automatically. 
Use the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. Now switch the render preset to final render, this will clear noise significantly better and enable adaptive sampling to shorten render times. When done, save your render to any of the supported formats, such as PNG or EXR for better post-production flexibility. Alright, let's see another example. Back to ZBrush, we will open a project, the Earthquake model. The Earthquake project is included in ZBrush, so you can use it for your own tests. This model is polypainted directly in ZBrush. This means it does not have textures, but vertex color. Although vertex color is supported by Maverick, baking textures is recommended. It also features several subtools for the body, the clothes, the teeth etc. To bring this entire model easily in Maverick, we will use the multi-map exporter included in ZBrush. The multi-map exporter ensures that all your textures and subtools are exported properly in just one single action. Go to the Z plugin menu and expend the multi-map exporter. Enable the necessary maps, such as the normal map and texture from Polypaint. Also enable the export mesh option so all the subtools are exported along with the textures. Don't forget to set an output resolution for your textures. We will go for a 2048 resolution for this video to keep the export time short. In the export options, select an acceptable subdivision level for all the channels you are exporting. The right export subdivision level depends on each model lowest and highest available levels. Proceed with the export by clicking Create All Maps and select an output folder. ZBrush will generate all the textures and save the OBJ. Let's go back to Maverick in the meantime, while ZBrush is processing the model. ZBrush has finished processing the model by now, so let's proceed with the import. Click the ZBrush import button once again, and browse your hard drive to locate the exported files. The Multimap exporter created one OBJ per subtool, and the corresponding textures. Double click on any of them. As always, select a starting ambience for your lighting, and click next. Make sure the scale and the model orientation are correct. Make corrections if needed, then click next. There is nothing to change in the material step, so click proceed. And there is the earthquake model, with all its subtools and textures. This model and its textures were transported from ZBrush to Maverick in just a couple of easy steps. You can check from the objects panel that the subtools were properly imported as separate objects, with correct names. The materials panel also lists all the created materials for each subtool. A few default materials can be left over, simply click the purge unused material button to clean up the scene. Now you can start working on your lighting again, for example by trying different ambiences. Using ambiences is an easy way to get realistic lighting and background integration. Getting closer you can appreciate the fine details from the normal map. Like the veins on the arms. In another video we will show you how to create incredible details with displacement. You can try some more ambiences, like studio setups, and create a stunning model shot in no time. Remember to check our lighting and ambiences video to learn more. We hope you enjoyed this video and will put this amazing feature to great use. Feel free to share your work on our social media, which links are in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.